Hey guys, what's up? Today is April 15th, 2014. So, the last two or three days has been really nice and warm. It's been 80 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees the last three days. Wake up this morning, got the windows open because it was hot in here yesterday. Had the windows open and it was 32 degrees this morning. So I had to get up, close the windows and turn the heat on. It was fucking cold in this house. Anyway, I wanted to show you something here. I've made videos on these previously. I think the one, I didn't do the one that bloomed two months ago. But I'm going to do one on this one now, so. The flower isn't really as big as it was last year. I don't understand why that is, but here it is. This is the other Morphophallus conjac that I have. And there's a Monstera down there at the bottom. This thing actually started, you can start smelling it, um, on the 13th. It's just a very faint smell just when you're up close to it. Last night around 9, 10, 11 o'clock you can really smell it really bad. I don't know if you can see this. See all those little dark spots? This is actually more of a reddish maroon color. I don't know why it's so light colored on this camera but all those little light spots where it looks like it's, there's a moisture on it. That is the chemical that's being released that causes the stink. So, there you have it. This thing's about four feet tall. Bulbs about four or five pounds. About 10, 12 inches around. It is pretty cool. I wish I actually had another one that was in bloom just within a, a day or two of opening. I like to get some of these things pollinated and get some seeds started to see how they do. Um, but yeah, this is the Morphophallus conjac. This is the the one I had last year. I posted a video of it. I think I posted a video of it. I'm not sure. But it does smell really raunchy, so there you go. And then there's my ficus I got from a friend of mine in Georgia. There's a variegated one I got from uh, Lowe's. It was in a little six inch pot, it wasn't no more than a foot tall. This one was in a four inch pot when I brought it back. It was only about eight inches tall. And it's now a little over six feet. And of course, there's the dogs. Tipsy, right there, a Tipsy. The lady one right there is Sammy. And this little black Mexican here is Lily. Y'all a bunch of lazy asses. Lily is a uh, Pomeranian Chihuahua mix. She is, uh, I believe, part uh, pit and part black lab mix. Not really sure about her. I mean, she is uh, black lab and with it. She got a really thin belly on her. She will be two years old this year. She will be one this year. And she just turned three yesterday. No, the day before yesterday. She was born on the 13th, so she's three years old. So, there's the dogs. Say hi, bud. Say hi. Look at you, you old fatty. She got blue eyes, too. I don't know if you can see it, but... No blue eyes. Sammy. Spoiled rotten. Okay. There's a piece of all these. Got a flower on it, too. The pollen's falling off. And here's some wisterias I started from seed. They're doing pretty good. This is my uh, Thai giant elephant ear. Believe it or not, it actually bloomed in the house over winter. I left it outside last night and I'm hoping the bulb didn't freeze on it because these are hard to get a hold of. I wanted to show you all in this next room here. I've got some things getting ready to pot up here. This is the spare bedroom. This is the room that we just, a couple years ago, we just finished. We put new, new ceiling in it the walls up. All you got to do now is go through and finish this here and finish filling in the cracks and sanding it down so we can paint it and put some uh, border, not border, but the uh, edging, whatever you want to call it, around the tops and the corners of the baseboards. 
Damn. Anyway, I just repotted my can. I just took them out little six packs. Repotted my ponytail palm. There's one of my biggest agaves. I don't know how big that one's going to get. But uh, here's another Morphophallus I've got. This one is called Leo Song. The stems are more like a, a grayish color with spots in them. It's not brown like the one that has the flower I just showed you. That one's getting ready to grow though. It's about two feet tall right now. There's some aloes. There's an aloe. That is a big red anthurium. And here's a um, philodendron gloriosum, which I need to cut back and repot. There's a pineapple I'm getting ready to try to start. And a bunch of adeniums that I started from seeds. And this thing here, I didn't think it would do that well. This is Dracenia marginata. Um, oh, what is it? That's the regular marginata right there, the dark brownish, reddish leaf one. This one's the one that's got like different colors in it. It's variegated. And then here's a monster and uh, Alocasia poly. There's another miniature monstera. And back here I've got a walking iris. Clarodendron vine, also called bleeding heart. It has these little red flowers inside these white shells. I don't think there's any left on there, but no, there's not. But yeah, this is my spare room. I keep all the plants up here that need the bright light. The ones in the basement are the ones that don't need a bright light. Those are arrowheads. And uh, there's a, a philodendron right there. Anyway, those are the plants I've got. This is a double white Brugmansia. That is a, uh, I think people call them Rick Rack or Fish Hook Cactus. It's an epiphyllum. There's a variegated pineapple. And I've got some cannas. I've got some Amorphophallus babies started up here. Right there's another Amorphophallus that's sprouting. There's some cactus in the window. I've gotten a lot of these plants out of here and put them out in the greenhouse because I got the see I don't know if you can see very good here my greenhouse is right here out the back that's the main greenhouse and I bought a separate one here I put all the seeds in that one and put a heater in there because the next couple days it will be cold and it needs to be heated for the seeds see it's about 60 in there it's got an oil filled heater and these are my trays I'm going to plant the cucumber seeds and bean seeds and stuff like that in and that's pretty much it. And yeah, this is the bedroom. Got new windows there, a new window there. All this stuff will be in here before too long because this will be finished. We still have to varnish this in here. Get all this crap moved out of it. Let these lights up at the top there. We don't have much more, much more work left on it. But, here we go. This old gas, for its size, it has an awful lot of stink to it. And there she is, laying on the floor. She got a happy tail. <laughs> got a happy tail, don't you? Don't you? Tipsy. 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 I wish I could get a little tail of yours. Alright there. There we go. After it warms up, I'm going to do some more videos. Uh, things are blooming outside. I've got one yellow iris that's in bloom. I've got a bunch of daffodils that's in bloom. And surprisingly, some tulips came back and started blooming. So, I don't know what the deal with is with those. Usually with those, when they quit, whenever they... Whenever you plant them, they'll bloom for one or two years and they quit. You just get that one big leaf on there. 
And from what I understand, tulips, after so long, they form, uh, they pull themselves down deeper in the ground. That's why they don't bloom. Because um, I, I found a tulip bulb once. It was like, it was about that much growth on it, a little bulb. And it had this big old long white thing on the bottom. So I can't find a picture of that any, anymore. But if I find another one, I'll post it on here. But that's the plants that I've got right now from my dogs. And uh, this spring, when it, whenever it gets warm enough here, about a week, it should be warm enough to put everything outside. I'm going to do another video and I'll start repotting, replanting, and start selling. So I'll do another vlog then, guys. See you later.